These NAND light tubes are awesome, but if you've been having issues with the battery level indicator, connecting to the app, or any other sort of bugs, chances are you need to upgrade the firmware. The bad news is that doing so is a very specific and convoluted process, but the good news is hopefully I can make that process a lot easier for you today. In order to update, you're just gonna need two things, a computer and a USB flash drive, but it can't just be any flash drive. There are some very specific restrictions here. Previously, Nanlite said that they would not accept USBs larger than 64 gigs, and anything specifically made by SanDisk that's either USB 3.0 or higher will not work. These statements are no longer on their website and some users have had success with SanDisk USBs before, but just to be safe, we're still going to avoid those things. Lastly, the flash drive has to use a USB-C connection. It can't be USB-A. Some people have reported success by using a standard USB-A connector and then using an adapter to get to USB-C, but it's been hit or miss, so again, let's be safe and avoid it. That's a lot of very specific criteria, so if you aren't sure that you have a USB that matches that, I'm gonna leave some links below to ones that I have used personally, as well as ones that others have used and have confirmed that they do work with the NAND lights. We need to format the drive to either FAT or FAT32 format before we can use it with our PAVO tubes. If you're on a Mac, just plug in the drive, open Disk Utility, then click on the drive that you wanna use, and then click on Format. From there, you should be able to select from a drop-down menu what format you'd like to use, so select FAT or FAT32, and then go ahead and format the drive. If you're on a PC, just open up File Explorer, right-click on the drive, and then click on Format. Select either FAT or FAT32, and leave everything else the way it is, then click on Start. Now that our drive is ready, we're gonna to go to Nanlite's website and head over to the support page, where you're eventually gonna find the product downloads and firmware. You'll notice that each device has its own firmware download, so please make sure you select the one that suits the length of light that you purchased. I have the two foot PAVO tube, so I want the download for the 15X. Once you download the zip file, you're gonna to need to open that up, and if you don't have any software to open a zip file, I'm gonna leave some links to software that you can use below. Inside of our zip file is a folder with several files, but all we really need out of here is the .upd file. We can click and drag or extract that file to our flash drive, making sure that it's in the root directory of the drive and not inside of a folder. Now we're all done with the computer. With your tube light turned off, go ahead and plug your USB-C drive into the back of your PAVO tube and turn it on. If everything went according to plan with the USB, you should be met with a prompt asking if you would like to update. If you don't get any prompt at this point, go back and make sure you followed everything to a T. Do not rename the update file, make sure that it's in the root of your USB drive, and make sure that your USB was formatted properly to either FAT or FAT32. And if you have the option to use either format, maybe try the one that you didn't use originally. You can press the switch button to change options, and then press the mode button to confirm your choice. At this point, the update will run automatically, and if you want to confirm the update was successful, you can hit the mode button to get to the menu screen, then scroll down to view the firmware version. Another way you can confirm is you can try to pair your light with the app. Prior to this update, I was not able to connect whatsoever, but now that I've updated properly, you can see that I'm connecting to the app without any issues. Hopefully you're good to go by this point, but if you got stuck or have any questions, just leave a comment and I'm more than happy to help you through the process. Otherwise, if you did find this helpful, please help me back by liking the video, subscribing, but otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.